Welcome to the garden classroom. Today we're going to make a thaumatrope, which is a disc that has a picture on one side and a different picture on the other. And when you spin it really fast, it merges the two pictures together so you get one. Today you will need some paper, scissors, a pencil, colouring pens or uh, crayons, a ruler, some string, something to make holes and you can make holes with a pencil or the scissors and some lined paper and a stencil to cut your circle out with. So first of all you need to put your circle on your piece of paper and with your pencil draw round the circle. You need to make bit of pressure on the top so that your circle doesn't move because that's often a big issue. You then will need to get your scissors and cut this circle out. When you've cut your circle out you then need to work out where halfway is. So what I've done is I've made the lines on this paper darker and then I'm going to put my circle on there and then I'm going to count up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. There's 11 lines, so it means that five and a half space, five and a half lines and I will get to the middle. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and a half and so the centre is going to be there and the same on the other side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, get to the half point and eventually that is where your holes are going to be. So when you've positioned your halfway points for where your holes are going to be, you then get, we're going to draw your picture. And today we're going to do the picture of the fish in the fishbowl. We're going to start this by drawing the first side of our picture, which is going to be the fishbowl. When you've completed your drawing of your bowl, we're now going to look at doing the second side. It's really important that you are turn the picture away from you to be able to draw the fish. Once you've finished your drawings, you can then hole punch where you marked earlier. You need to thread some thread through the holes you've just punched. You can either use string like this or cotton, or you can use elastic band like this. Now your thermotrope is complete. All you need to do is spin it. There are some more ideas, but I'm interested to see what you can come up with.